Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using integrated simulation environment that is ISC for simulating Verilog code. I am Shilpa Kedarudravar, Assistant Professor in School of ENTC Engineering at MIT Academy of Engineering, Arandi Pune. I will be guiding you through the process step by step. ISC is a powerful tool provided by Xilinx for designing and verifying digital circuits. It offers a comprehensive suite of features that supports the entire design flow from writing HDL code to simulating and synthesizing it. Here the basic understanding or knowledge of digital circuit is required which you have already studied and here HDL stands for hardware description language in which there comes Verilog and VHDL. In today's uh, session we will be focusing on Verilog as it's a um, it's in syllabus. In this tutorial we will cover the following topics that is first introduction to ISC, setting up new project, writing Verilog code, simulation setup and running simulations. Now in this tool we will be executing half adder code and that's why I'll be moving ahead with what is the meaning of half adder and how to write a Verilog code in uh, tool. So over here you are able to see half adder truth table where you are having two input A and B. As there are two input there are four options that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and you are able to see the value, value of carry and sum and on the right hand side you are able to see the digital circuit related to half adder. Now whenever you are writing a Verilog code uh, there are some structure in which you need to write. So whenever you are writing Verilog code you need to start with the module as a keyword which is written in the capital and you need to end that module with the end module. So this is mandatory these are the keywords. Now you need to give the name to the module and you need to write in bracket ports available. So on the right hand side the code for half header you are able to see. So here module is coming that is the keyword. You need to start with the model, you need to end with the end model. So this is written. The name, model name given is a HA, that is half adder. So I have given as a HA, you can give any name. In bracket, you are having input and output, that is ports available. So A, comma B, comma sum, comma carry. These are the input output ports available end with the semicolon. Every line ends with the semicolon, that is mandatory. Now here it is not specifying whether it is input or output and that's why in port declaration you need to define which are the inputs and which are the outputs. So input A semicolon, input B semicolon or you can write in a single line input A comma B semicolon. Output is written in the same way. Now there are three modeling style uh, in the Verilog. One of that is the data flow, second is the behavioral, third is the structural. Fourth is also available that is switch level but we are, uh, in this syllabus we are not focusing on that. So out of that this is the data flow modeling style and in data flow you need to write keyword assign. So assign carry equal to A and B ampersand indicates ending and semicolon indicates end of line. So this is the value of carry you will be getting by ending the things and sum will be getting by A or B. So this symbol is of or and you need to end model with the end model. So this code you need to write in the tool. So moving ahead with the actual tool over here. So I'll be clicking on this ISC design suit that is 14.5 version I am having. The latest versions are also available. You can go through that. Double click on that. Don't click multiple time. It will open multiple windows and it will load your PC. So don't do like that. It will be opening with uh, within a moment. Uh, I have already opened uh, that ISC window downstairs. If this is not working properly, I will be opening that. Now it will be taking its time. Now in this platform, you are able to see multiple windows. You need to click on OK. So this is what is the source window. The code you are writing that you will be able to see over here. This is the process window. This is the code window and this is the error window. Now whatever project you have already opened that particular project you will be able to see over here. Now I need to create a new project and that's why I need to click on file new project and give the name I am giving as a half a half adder or anything that you want to give. So uh, you need to select the target location. And after that over here you need to uh, select on HDL. HDL stands for hardware description language. As we are writing a code in Verilog, we need to select this. 
click on next you will be getting that property setting you need to keep it as it is product category all now family i have selected here artic 7 because in our college the artic 7 boards are available and whatever hardware you are having you need to choose that because there are two things over there one is the simulation of whatever code you are writing and second is what the imp uh, dumping the bit file into the target device so in hardware you need to execute the uh, functionality of the code written so that's why that hardware should be available with you and that's why rtx7 is selected which is available device that is written on that board only so xc7a100t now package whatever the ic you are having on that that is the csg is the package uh, type and 324 pins are there to that ic that's why 324 dash one is the speed grade you need to select there are multiple speed, uh, speed grades available synthesis tool over here is the xilinx synthesis tool and a simulator is inbuilt available that is the isim model sim that different tools are available simulation tools are available but as inbuilt tool is there there is no need to go ahead with the other tools so preferred language is the very log and then you need to select next whatever uh, properties you have selected you are able to see it over here then go to finish if uh, you have chosen property wrongly also you can uh, go to this right click and design property you can change your property at this moment also now once that has been done what you need to do there is this is the source window that is code you are able to see this is the process window whatever the process is that is chase syntax uh, floor planning placement routing whatever processes are going to happen on that code will be able to seen over here this is the error window or console and this is what is the code window now i need to click on here new source because i need to write a new code uh, new code over here if you are already having any code available very log code so you can select by using add source now i am selecting new source because i need to create a new file so i need to select very log module because i am writing code in very log and give the name as a half adder or whatever whatever name you are writing over here that is coming as a module name in your code and that's why it should not be a keyword keyword means specific word that is already uh, there which is having uh, some meaning you can't assign that to the uh, as a name over there so ha now what are the input output available so a is a input b is a input carry is a output that's why i'm clicking over here out and sum is another output so again i am making it as a out once that has been done if you are having multiple bit input so you can click over here as a bus and you can write 7 down to 0 but here there is only one input one output one bit input one bit output that's why there is no need to do like that so next and finished once that has been done you are able to see your that ha file that is code is getting linked with this particular property and these three dots indicate it is a top model and it's linked properly now partial code is coming over here you can write uh, the code over here functionality whatever is there you need to write before end module some partial code is coming over here so i will be writing assign assign is again a keyword uh, which is used for the data flow modeling style carry equal to a ampersand b semicolon this is our first line and assign Keep that is in mind that don't write a capital in assign otherwise it will be showing you an error. All the keywords you need to write in small case. This is the symbol of or b. This is the code. Once that has been done you need to save it and if there are certain error you will be able to see it over here. Now there is no error means code is written properly to show you error I will just remove this particular semicolon and then saving it is showing that there is an error so this is getting highlighted in this console or error window if you are clicking on this it will be moving towards the code means some some error is there and that you need to remove so i'll i'll be adding this semicolon so that error will get removed once that has been done what you need to do you need to go over here you need to click on this ha means for this close uh, source code you are just doing check syntax if there are any errors it will get remo uh, it will be showing in the error window if not it will be showing successfully completed once that has been done you need to uh, see the rtl schematic 
Now in RTL schematic, what you will be uh, able to see, you will be able to see the circuit diagram for the code written. Now it is taking some time over there. So I'll be switching to my, okay, that has been done. You are able to see check syntax completed successfully means there is no error. Now move towards the RTL schematic. Once you are clicking over there, you will be able to see the hardware or you can see, you can see the circuit diagram. Now it is taking time. So I'll be switching to the previously running code over here. So hope it will be. Available here. No, it is also taking time. Meanwhile, it is running. I'll be showing you. Okay, this has been run. So you need to click on start with the schematic of top level. Okay, so you are able to see the block of half header. The name given to the model is HA. That's why it is showing like that. Inputs are AB, output is some carry. And whenever you are clicking on this, you will be able to see the circuit diagram. So there is no need to draw the circuit for the code you have written. It is itself is giving its circuit so this is synthesis synthesis meaning uh, meaning of synthesis lower level abstraction of your high level code into gate level netlist so gate level implementation you are able to see once that has been done now our part is to go ahead with the simulation now what is the role of simulation to check whether whatever functionality you are written is written correctly so you need to check for zero zero you are getting what type of output is it satisfying uh, your truth table it is right over there so for that you need to apply inputs to a and b so that it will be taking that input and giving you a carry and sum now for that you need to write a test bench so what is the meaning of test bench test bench is the code written to generate your soft input that is a and b value so that it will be giving you sum and carry so now over here you are able to see view and uh, view implementation and simulation up till now we are clicking on implementation now we need to click on simulation now once you are clicking on simulation again same thing is you are able to see but right click over here and click on new source and you are writing test bench by clicking verilog text fixture make a habit to write the name as a tb underscore whatever the code or name you have written so that it will be understandable that you have written this test bench there will not be any confusion between test bench and actual code. So once that has been done, right, uh, click on next and you will be getting highlighted HA. Meaning of that, whatever code you have written, to that you are writing your test bench. If multiple codes are available, you need to select out of which you need, uh, for which you are writing a code. So here is the only one available. So HA, for HA, I am writing a test bench. Finished. Once that has been done, you will be able to see this plus sign and this test bench is linked to the UUT. Now, what is the meaning of UUT? UUT stands for unit under test. So, whatever code you have written for that you are writing a test bench means this test bench will be generating A and B value and that will be given to your code and as per the code return where you have written carry equal to A and B, sum equal to A or B. So, that value will be taken in that equation and you will be getting output of sum and carry now partially this particular test bench is coming over here the module tb the name is given uh, whatever the inputs are there in your code it will be considered as a rake range here so a b and whatever are the output will be considered as a wire over here so these are the data types ha is the name for your uut so that is over there if you are written mistakenly different a name over here so it will not be linking to this particular uut and that's why your thing will be failed so a of your test bench will be connected to the A of your UUT, B with B. That is the meaning of this particular syntax. Now you need to start with the beginning. Initial, it executes whatever written inside the initial which will execute once. So initial, after that you need to every time write begin and begin here. So there will be end and end module. So this is what is your test bench. Now what you need to do, there is only one option provided that is when a is 0 b is 0 but you need to write four options that because two inputs there are four multiple um, possibilities possible and that's why i'll be copy, um, copying this and pasting so what is the meaning of hash 100 that as simulation is uh, going on very fast so you will not be getting the 
transition from 0 0 to 0 1 so you need to give the time delay of uh, 100 uh, time scale over there you can give 10 time scale also there is not an issue so 0 1 that is the one i have taken then again copy paste now 1 0 and lastly we are having 1 1 so all options we have given now what is the meaning of that stimulus are getting generated because of this stimulus means soft input for the code you have written that is UUT once that has been done you need to save it and now click on your test bench and click on the processes that is simulate behavioral model once that has been done if there are any errors you will be able to see that error otherwise next window of this will be open and you will be getting this screen now once that screen is there you are not able to see the transition so you need to click on this zoom to full view now you will be able to see the transition these are the output these are input you can align that in different way also like this and now you are able to see over here that for 0 0 input whenever this yellow line is coming related to that values you will be able to see over there if there is a confusion you can just click over here yellow line will be coming and it will be showing the values so if a is 0 b is 0 output is 0 0 if a is 0 b is 1 output is 0 1 that is carry is 0 sum is 1 when 1 0 is the input output will be carry 0 sum 1 and when input is 1 1 output is carry 1 and sum 0 so that way you can verify it with the truth table and if that is matching meaning of that whatever code you have written is the right one functionality wise and that's why we have simulated this thing this is the one thing that is the simulation using this tool second part is generating a bit file and dumping it on the target device that we will cover in the next session so hope you have enjoyed this session you understood each and every part of this particular uh, session and that's why uh, happy learning and thank you thank you very much